All right, what's going on, everyone? Well, today we are going to be doing uh, a little project on the uh, hatchback. You know, from the last video, we just finished the uh, Mugen tack overlay. You can go ahead and check out that right-hand corner for the uh, link to that video. But today we are installing a progressive sway bar. How big is it? 20-something? I didn't measure it. Was I supposed to? No. I think it's a 22 millimeter. It's bigger than what I have. Yes, which is nothing. So, yes. Uh, I don't know if... This guy had one and just took it off, or these cars just never came with it, and this is a whole new rear it, suspension. It's for it. So, but, well, we're going to be installing one today. It is over here on our little setup table. The little Progress Sway Bar kit that we picked up from Boosted Performance. You know, shout out to them for hooking us up Thank with this. You, Thank you, James, over at Boosted Performance. So, yes, Mark is uh, looking up something right now. He just found out that the uh, Coney Yellows that came with the car are actually a little bit height adjustable. And so he's just trying to figure out if that's true or if it's actually set at the high one because driving around this car is super low and he wants it up. We have a track day coming up later this month. Uh, so he just wants to kind of make sure it's ready, you know, just beat around, see what he can get. And uh, yeah, as soon as he figures that out, we're going to go ahead and install this sway bar. So the first thing we decided to mess with is uh, obviously the ride height. Uh, as I said, these are some Coney Yellows and they do look to be adjustable. They do have some adjustment notches that Mark is going to decompress the spring or compress the spring. And then uh, it's going to go ahead, take that C-clip out and then uh, bring it up to where hopefully the car sits higher. This machine hasn't been in the video since uh, we did my uh, SI springs. That was quite some time ago. Right, as you can see there, there's a few adjustment notches to where we can raise this, bring the lock ring up, and uh, yeah. I just gotta find the split. There should be a split in this thing somewhere. So it shouldn't just thread. It should be like See if I can get some stuff like that. Hopefully these things work. It's not all the way to the top, but it's higher. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna have to uh, kind of hope and pray that that's high enough for Mark. There we go. Simple. We're gonna repeat this on all four and then uh, see if it raised the car.
there you have it. That is how you install the uh, Progress Rear Sway Bar on a 98 EK hatch. EJ6 if you want to be super specific. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, put the wheels and tires back on and see if we actually raised it enough. And then this car should be good to go for our track day. So let me go ahead and uh, put those on and we'll get this car down. So this is later on in the evening. Uh, Obviously, because, you know, it's darker. But uh, we forgot to shoot a closing for this video, because we're smart like that. Anyway, Anthony's obviously gone home with the family. And, um, yeah, I've been driving this thing around most of the afternoon. And I'll tell you right now, this is the best thing we've done to the car so far. It We picked it up roughly about a, a half inch or so. And then... A inch and maybe an inch and a quarter to an inch and three-eighths in the front um, either way the car used to scuff and scrape everywhere I mean like no matter what bump you hit it used to scuff and scrape and it doesn't help that I'm not, I don't know if you can see it it doesn't help that you know the tires poke a little bit but that all be corrected you know as time goes by but anyway you know, we picked it up. There is a noticeable gap difference now. Because when we first got the car, it was slammed. I couldn't physically get the car on a lift. I had to jack it up from the back. And, uh, yeah, it was to pay in the butt. And then, uh, yeah, so we did that. And then also, let me get down here. There's our progress sway bar. Like I said, sorry for the lighting conditions, but I'll tell you right now, it works. I like it. Like the car, the car feels tighter. It feels more nimble when I'm making turns. It just feels better, all in all. Obviously, having no sway bar. Uh, from what I've heard, a lot of the Honda guys that I've talked to, they said that you have to drill holes in the lower control arms. I did not have to do that with this, because I guess it already had the rear, the. I guess I already had the rear lower control arm swapped. So, it was a really quick installation. Um, but yeah, guys, like I said, there she is in all of her glory. But so far, it's been a really fun car, and I've really been enjoying it. I'm probably going to take out the uh, Catalina coffee in the morning, and um, yeah, see what we can get into. Anyway, guys, keep watching. Laters.